Cyrus, is that you? You're probably on mute. It's me. Oh, Cyrus. Okay, here. Let's do this. Um, good morning, all of you that are online. And I think you're, uh, I know the meeting's going to start in five minutes. So I logged on now just to see who is here. Um, you should have a chat feature. And like I said, you're muted. So if you need to say something, you have to unmute. But there is a chat feature. If you could just like type in your name and say here, or even just type in your name in the chat feature. We are kind of unofficially taking attendance. So every week I'm gonna plan on writing down who is here. And then if you watch the video, just you know email me. I'll put a word in the video that you email me to show me that you watched it or something. So right now, let's see how this works. I'm hoping the chat feature is there. I see it. And I see several of you have said something. Awesome. Here we go. Well, this is quite unique. I don't know if you guys are looking forward to this or you think this is just kind of crazy, but regardless, here we are. So I've got, let's create a list here. Good morning. Megan said, good morning, Miss Reeve. I was just telling them that, you know, it's a couple minutes before the meeting started. I have asked them to, they all start, they are on mute and I have asked them to just in the chat feature, type in their name and right here. So I've got Megan, Hannah, Cyrus. Who's the one that says Johnny? Johnny, hmm, let me see. And Blake H. John Cudney. Who is it? John Cudney. Oh, okay. And there's Peyton and Blake. Yes, I'm here. Peyton. So, if you're just jumping on, again, use the chat feature to write your name and say here. I believe, I know the audio is being recorded. I got control of that, so that's being recorded right now. I think there is a spit out of the chat feature, but just in case there's not, I'm trying to write them all down. I can help you with that at some point. Do you want me to mute too? No, that's fine. Okay. So I've got Ben, John, Hi, Ben. Owen, Megan, Hannah, Cyrus, Blake, Peyton. Okay, so hopefully I can get both the recording to post to Moodle, which again, I know some of you, and I'll probably repeat this a couple times, but I know some of you, you might have a, a conflict. I picked this time. I know other teachers might pick this time. There's just no way we're all going to not have some overlap. So that's why every DHS teacher is required to record so that you can either watch it later or watch it live. Oh, what oh. happened here? Is it John Cudney or John Savage? Cudney, I, it's John. I think. No, it's John Savage. What happened to my, whoops. Oh, there is John Cudney. There's both. Wonderful. So if you're just logging on, I've asked you to type in your name in the chat feature and just say here. So I've got a record of who logs on. And Mina, and we'll start in about a minute here. <clears throat> Wow, a bunch just jumped on. Mm -hmm. Mina, Isaac, Smith, Alex, P, Abby, H, Brock, S. Madison B, Sammy W, Blake A. Drew, A. <clears throat> Alex is upside down. There she goes. Hi, 
Matty? Your voice isn't working quite yet. All right. So it is nine. I'm going to say this several times, but if you are just logging on, I've got Megan, Hannah, Cyrus, Blake, John C., Peyton, Ben, Owen, Savage, uh, John Savage, uh, Mina K., Isaac, Alex, Abby H., Brock, Sammy, Madison B., Blake A., Drew A., and if you would, if I did not mention your name, perhaps you could respond in the chat feature with your name and then here, because I believe we get to download, oh, and Alex A. I believe I get to download the entire chat feature so I can kind of check off my list later. Maddie L, Calvin H, <clears throat> Kyle E. Wow. Landon T. Carson. Ellie B. Okay. Mallory M. All right. There is a little download button. So I will download our chat at the end and double check I've got all the names. Each week we are recording. At this time, I know many of you did respond to me saying that you might have a conflict. That is why every single DHS teacher is going to post the recording. I'm going to do it right into Moodle. I've messed around with Zoom already. It does take a little bit of time to, because it's a, it's a fairly high resolution recording. So it does take time to download and convert. And then I'm going to put it on YouTube so you don't have to download it, I hope that you'll be able to just watch the video. Uh, but that link will be built into Moodle. I'm gonna guess it'll be there by noon on Mondays. So if you have to make a choice, like you've got this class meeting at nine on Monday and you have another class meeting at nine on Monday, or like in my family, I've got three kids going to DeWitt. I am teaching at DeWitt. My wife is full-time on school. So we've run into several conflicts. In fact, I had to choose uh, my seniors, I had to pick a different meeting time just because it didn't work for us. So it is a delicate balance. Um, I'm going to ask Miss Reeve how she's doing. I'm, you know, we're hanging in there, getting a little sir crazy, I suppose. But I think compared to many out there, I feel rather fortunate. You know, Michigan is that we were number three in COVID states. We are now number four. But that's only because we've had the least amount of tests. Like in the top 10, we are the lowest in the amount of tests. So really, we probably have a lot more cases than we actually think we do. Yeah. I'm surprised Michigan is so high. But I'm thankful uh, for our situation. I'm hanging in there. Again, if you're just joining us, use the chat feature. Type in your name and just say here. Or actually, I guess it types in your name for you, whatever name you typed in there. And you can just say here. Um, other than that, we're trying to find out fun stuff to do. I've been... Blo um, making a uh, podcast with some of my high school friends. So we've been keeping busy that way. My kids have been kind of doing some learning into whatever they're into. So they've been getting pretty creative with that. And Miss Reeve, how are you doing? Mrs. Reeve, how are you doing? I'm doing, we're doing good here. We've got um, all four of us, obviously, are home. So I'm doing my teacher stuff and my mom stuff. And my oldest daughter is, well, attending CMU from home now. That got shut down when we were still in school. Um, seems like it was more than a month ago, but um, my seventh grader, she'll be starting her stuff today. So I've got my office my classroom now down in the basement so i have a nice space to work and um so far we're healthy and we've been getting outside as much as we can to take walks and you know just wave to neighbors and everybody's been pretty good about um you know staying away from other people we haven't, we haven't done any interactions 
Um, we we talked to one one of our neighbors about 10 feet away. We'll stand on the sidewalk and they're on her porch and just to check in. But other than that, we we're doing everything we're supposed to be doing. So um, and for all of you um, students that are here, we've got 39 participants, which is fantastic. Um, you can reach out to me at any time through email, um, through office hours, and let me know if there's things that we can do to help if you don't understand something or, you know, you're fortunate to have two teachers. So, um, don't, so take advantage of it, okay? You won't be emailing too many questions or anything like that. So anything you need is what we want to help you with. So. And for those just jumping on, I've asked to type in your, why don't you go ahead and type in your name? Cause sometimes your username, like, I don't know who C I V E S is. So I need to know who that is, but. Carter. <laughs> oh, C Ives, Carter, uh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, I can help you with the. Okay. Too. All right. But I, so there's some new ones I just saw was Izzy, Braden F, Carter Ives, Jacqueline and Ellen T. I've got some new ones. John Cudney, I know I've got Drew Agnew, I've got. So uh, every week I'll ask you to do that. Just actually type out your name. If it's, if your username is something a little different and then say here, uh, like I said before, every teacher at DeWitt is recording their uh, videos. I'm going to post it. And I am kind of using this time, this the first one, I guess, to go make sure to go over everything, but also to check in with everybody and give you guys a chance to say something, if you wish. We'll do that maybe at the end. So I do want to go over what uh, the expectations are. You know, we've got an email not too long ago that kind of said from our curriculum director that said, think about the stuff you wanted to do and cut it in half and then cut it in half again. So this is by no means regular brick and mortar learning. This is not online learning. None of us here signed up to be an online teacher. You did not make a decision to be an online student. Your parents did not make this. I mean, this is a reaction to something that hasn't happened in the world since what, 1918, since the last real worldwide pandemic. So it's a emergency response and learning is not going to be what it once was. And I do encourage you, like we're doing in my house, to get creative. If there's something you're into, great. Go find a YouTube video about it. Explore it. If you've always wanted to know about the solar system or why it takes the moon, why we never see the quote-unquote dark side of the moon, go find out. So I encourage you to be creative in your learning process in the next couple of weeks. Don't just wait for us. But if there's something you want to check out, if you want to read a new book, if you want to do some science exploring, I fully encourage you to do that. I'm going to share my screen and show you Moodle. Okay, so here is Moodle for, again, you go there, to get there, you get from the DeWitt High School homepage, if you scroll down, so this is the DeWitt High School homepage. If you scroll down, you follow the link to Moodle, and then you type in your regular user and log, uh, your regular username and login. I think we have four new students. I believe I went in and put your names in there. So I'm pretty sure you're already enrolled in the class. If for some reason it does ask you for an, a student self-enrollment key, you can type my last name with a capital B. It'll be on the screen on that same page that it's asking you to enter the student self-enrollment key. My last name is right there with a capital B. But I'm pretty sure everyone is enrolled. So if you are not, if for some reason you're following the DHS homepage, you go to Moodle, then you have to find Battaglia English Language Arts 1. So there's several Battaglia classes. Make sure you click the right one. Battaglia English Language Arts 1. And that is the class. So once you are enrolled and you click Moodle, you will see this. Battaglia English Language Arts 1. Uh, I took a lot of stuff off. So there's, there's some interesting things. Like there's a speed reading website, which is kind of cool. I've got some, you can take the hero quiz on the Odyssey. And I think it spits out like what hero you are or something. And there's some Odyssey relevant stuff. 
If you are interested in it, here's a whole bunch of learning. You can go find out. The Shmoop mythology page is actually pretty cool. They have like a Facebook of the gods. If the gods were Facebooking each other, what would they, what would they Facebook? So there's some neat stuff there. There's a couple of cool videos. Uh, primarily though, where you're gonna be focused is right here. So the supplementary work for the two weeks when we know we went on break on the 13th, this has been one full month since I have talked to a student really in a school-like setting. Um, that first initial period before spring break, we did put up some activities. They all have to do with the Odyssey. There are some really good videos actually uh, if you wanted to watch the Odyssey videos, I think they're pretty cool from the History Channel. It's called Clash of the Gods, Odysseus Part 1 and Clash of the Gods, Odysseus Part 2. They are found here. There's some other neat little things that you can do. Um, however, that's just supplementary stuff. As I said, the Clash of the Gods video are right here, Odysseus Part 1 and 2. There's a Zeus one, which is pretty neat. Um, there's some other little videos you could watch if you wanted. However, what you really want to focus on is week one. Okay, so online learning week one. This will be posted at the latest, I would say, by Sunday every week. And it would look something like this. So I'm planning on using these videos to kind of go over and make sure there's not any real-time questions with anything. Uh, so here's week one. And Mondays, we're always going to kind of look the same. We've got the live video session at 945. And where it says the recording will be posted here. Again, it takes a while, especially a 45-minute video, to actually get it converted and downloaded. I'm guessing it'll be here by noon, but I haven't actually converted a 45-minute video yet. So it took a lot longer than I thought. But I did do a test run. I know I can do it. It just, however long it takes me to download and upload. So I'm gonna guess noon. And if you can't watch the live session, watch the recorded session and then just email me. I'll give you a word today. I'm just asking you to, in the text, in the chat box, type your name in here. And that sort of counts. It's a, a very unofficial count. We are kind of using it just to see who's logging on. I'm also logging on to Moodle. I can tell who has logged on. So if you're, not turning in stuff, if you are not going to the video sessions, if you are not logging into Moodle, then we'll be making phone calls home to see what's going on and if there's a problem. So uh, the live session recording will be posted here once it's done. And then every week I'm gonna do the same thing. I sent out via Infinite Campus the link to get here. That reminds me, Mrs. Reeve, did it ask you for a password or did it ask you just to put in the user ID? The meeting ID. I just clicked. I just clicked the link and got right in. And it didn't ask for the password, mm -hmm. Mr. B. No. Nope. Nope. Shoot. Okay. I'm trying to make it as secure as possible. Yeah. I'm not sure why not. I mean, it's okay. So <laughs> it asked me to tell the students put in password. I said yes, and I put Mr. B was the password. So when I did it on my end, I had to do that stuff. But <clears throat> I'm oh. not sure. Not sure why you guys aren't. But anyway, we'll get that worked out. The live video invitation will be sent every Sunday or Monday at the latest, but I would imagine I'll send it Sunday. And then I'm also posting it here. So if you kind of forget and it's last minute, go to Moodle, just follow, you can click on the link here, or you can use the meeting ID when I went there. I don't know what it looks like for you guys, but I went and there was something that said, let's see. This looks a little different. Oh yeah, join a meeting. So I went in and I joined a meeting and there was a scheduled meeting and I put in the video ID. Or like I said, Ms. Reeves said, just follow the link and you can find it apparently as well. So that is emailed to you and that will also be posted here uh, on Sunday night. <laughs> All right, you're expected to do 45 minutes of ELA work a day. And by a day, I mean Mondays, you're expected to watch the 45 minute video. That's it. Tuesdays, there's going to be 45 minutes worth of work. Thursdays, 45 minutes of work. And Fridays, 45 minutes worth of work. That's it. Nothing on Wednesday. So Monday's the video. And then 45 minutes, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We are online. If you have questions, I sent this home. I sent home a video about how to log on to Moodle. We are online for quote unquote office hours, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 930 to 11. 
and that's when I will be responding. I know I, I last night I got emails at all hours and I was kind of responding then, but I think going forward, I am going to respond during office hours just to kind of keep some sort of regular schedule. So 9.30 to 11 is when we'll be responding. All right, and that's if you have questions on stuff. Tuesday, 45 minutes total. So there's a 15 minute video. You can click on it and it's embedded right here. So you could watch it here. Or once you click on it, you can click on the bottom right and then go to YouTube so it's nice and big. That's what I do. So I get it going and then I click on the little YouTube button on the bottom and then I go watch it there. Uh, so the 15 minute video, what is it about? It basically goes over the final project. It's a book talk. Oh, it goes over the menu and the outline. So the menu and the outline are here. Now, if you have Microsoft Word, you can download this version and then you can type right on it. If you don't, you can use the PDF version. And really, you, you don't need this actual thing. I mean, the PDF version, it looks like this. So if you are more comfortable typing, you could certainly just type on a document, title equals, you know, Slaughterhouse-Five, let's say. Author equals Kurt Vonnegut. So you could type all of this stuff. You don't need this actual handout. I'm just telling you what the stuff is. So the video goes over this PDF. It walks you through what you should be doing. By no means should you be filling all of this out right now. The video goes over it. But basically, you have to do the mandatory parts, which is in bold. So here's a mandatory part. You have to fill out all this stuff. You have to do the plot, which is basically five things. You're picking the five most important parts of your book. So you're doing a book talk, right? You're telling us what happened in the beginning, what starts to heat up, what's the main climactic event, what happens after that, and what's the resolution. So you're basically selling five things. What happens first, next, then after last. That is mandatory as well as the conclusion, which like any conclusion, there's nothing new. It's just restating all the stuff. Then as the video kind of explains, so I'm doing this real quick, the video explains it more, but as the video explains, you have your choices. So if you wanted to do the mandatory parts plus three other little things, three other menu options, you can get the full points. If you only pick two other menu options, you can get 17. If you pick the mandatory, plus one menu option, you can get 14. So the menu options are here. Story elements is one, filling all that out. Menu option two, story development. Menu option three, menu option four, menu option five. So you only have to pick three if you wanna get the full points plus the mandatory. Like I said, the video really goes over it thoroughly. I'm just highlighting it right now. So on Tuesday at your leisure, watch the 15 minute video. That's another thing. The 45 minute schedule, this is for you guys to do on your own. You figure out what's best. If you wanna write down a schedule because in your household, the computer is used at such and such a time, you just need to pencil in, you know, from three o'clock to 3.45, the computer is yours and you're gonna be doing ELA work or from 10 o'clock at night to 10.45. I would recommend kind of writing down a schedule as to when you would do ELA work and when you're gonna do your math and when you, that's my advice. But again, it's not brick and mortar. So the time when you accomplish this is up to you. That is the benefit, I guess, of quote, online learning. So you just got to set aside 45 minutes to watch the video, what we're doing right now on Monday, 45 minutes to work on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So the first 45 is watching the video, which goes over your final project. We are not having finals. The grading system, by the way, is scaled back. It's just a whole point system. So everything's just worth points and it's pass fail. So on your transcript, there's not gonna be in the pass fail line of demarcation is 70%. So on your transcript, it's not gonna say 71%. It would just say pass, regardless if you get 71% or 99%, you're gonna get a P, that's it. If you fall below, what is it, 69 four nine if you get that or below you would get an f you would have the opportunity at dewitt to make it up if you wanted because we're a block system so you could certainly take ela one over again if you wanted uh, and that'll be up to you and your counselors but everybody at dewitt as basically across the country a lot of schools are doing this pass fail so um 15 minute video then here I gave the book talk, by the way, and I talk about this in the video. There's basically three parts. There's a menu outline, there's a script, and then you're going to create like a video slideshow. Okay. Don't worry about all that right now. We've got a lot of time. Just worry about reading and working on the outline. 
So I need to work on. I did post an exemplary book talk example so you can see what the final project should sort of look like. This is, I mean, this kid got 100%. They did really well. So it's a good example. It's really, really well done. By no means are all of them as good as this one, but I'm showing you an exemplary example just so you have an idea of what we're working towards. As I say on numerous video days, just slowly work on the outline for now. That's all you need to do. Um, okay, so then you've got 10 minutes to study your Quizlet. You follow this link and it goes to the Quizlet flashcards, DHS, ELA1. If you are new to the class, you have to sign up and there's a little button for you. I'm the teacher, but there's a little button for you that says to join. So go ahead and join and I'll approve you. Uh, the rest of you, we are studying hero's journey. So study the, the cards for 10 minutes, right? And you click on the card and it tells you the backside. Um, so this is following the link. If you are signed up, you will see the various class sets. If you are not signed up, as I said, request to enroll. And if you want to follow the link right to the hero's journey cards, that's right here. So study that for a little bit. I've also given a handout of the hero's cycle. So it's got all the same things, the ordinary world. So if this was the flash card, right? The ordinary world is the term and the definition is, whoops, the hero is shown in his normal world, right? Now I like this because it's got the cycle right here, which I kind of like looking at it like this. So the hero, basically this, this comes from Joseph Campbell, but essentially he thought in all epics, you know, Beowulf, King Arthur, um, Perseus, all these Greek heroes and all these epic stories through the ages, they all seem to kind of follow this path. This is the path, right? So the hero is shown in the ordinary world. There's a call to adventure. They refuse. They meet the mentor. They cross the threshold. They are tested. There's allies. There's enemies. There's the approach, ordeal, death, and rebirth, seizing of the sword or the reward, the road back, the resurrection, return with elixir. So you're just learning what those parts are basically. So whether you look at the PDF or whether you study the flashcards, it doesn't matter. Just spend 10 minutes going over it. Um, then the Quizlet test. It's the, uh, the assignment for the week. Now I think I've already gone in and made all the changes. You can click this. It's again, another video, 10 minutes, and it gives you more instruction. But the Quizlet test is pretty easy. When you go to the hero's journey, all you gotta do is click the test and you can do the settings. I think I've already done it for you, but the options, yeah. See, mine's already set. The options are just matching and you're gonna complete the test. Now you've got till Friday to do this. You can do it as many times as you want. It's just showing me you've studied the cards a little bit and showing me you've started to learn what those parts are. So, now, uh, go ahead, Ms. Reed. Excuse me, did you want them to screenshot that mm -hmm. so we can kind of see like their best score? Yep, so as it says at the bottom here, you can take this more than once. When you have completed it with the score you're happy with, capture the screen and send it to Ms. Reeve. Now, whether you do a literal photo and then email it to her, that's fine from your phone, or whether you are on the score screen, because at the very end, it'll say, you know, 13 out of 13 or 10 out of 13. You can hit the print screen button on your computer and then open up a document and just click paste. So the print screen button is usually abbreviated. For me, it's F8. It's a P R T S C N. You just click that button when you're looking at it and then it copies what's ever on your screen. Go to a document, hit control V, and it pastes your whole screen. So it doesn't matter, just so long as you can either show us the picture that you took with the phone, or if you do the print screen and send it to Miss Reeve, you've got, and Miss Reeve's email is right here. You've got till Friday at 11.59 p.m. This is the one assignment this week. We're starting slow to make sure, and uh, guys, I'm not gonna envision a whole bunch more than this. It, I'm really not. Uh, the main thing you're going to be working on is the book talk, okay? So the book talk's the big one, and then every week there'll be something small, very small. Um, but when you're done, send it to Miss Reeve. You've got till Friday at 417. As long as Miss Reeve gets the email that's marked 417 or earlier, 
you, you're on time and you'll get whatever score you want. So if it takes you 10 times to get that perfect score, I would take the 10 times. And I give you time every day to do this. So this is just Tuesday. And then the last minute or the last 10 minutes of the day, take time to read. And I'm suggesting when you read, have the menu outline document, the copy of the menu outline or the PDF version, have that open and you can fill it out as you go. All right, that is Tuesday. Thursday, very, very similar, 10 minutes. At this point, you should be able to complete all or most of the mandatory introduction of your book talk outline. Here is a copy. So take 10 minutes to fill out the mandatory stuff. So right up here, I'm, I'm sure you can take the time to do the title, the author, the genre, you know, as a part of a series, the year publication, other similar books, give it a rating. Who would you recommend it to and why? And then you just have to literally say in your video, okay, guys, there's spoilers because you're going to be talking about stuff. So I actually give you time to start filling it out. You don't have to fill out all of it, just little bits at a time. So I would say on Thursday, take 10 minutes and fill out that portion. Take the time to fill out as much of the mandatory stuff as you can. And if you notice the conclusion, much of the conclusion just revisits the intro. So if you've got it in the intro, chances are you can write it on the conclusion. Take five minutes again on Thursday to go over the hero's journey. Just study it. I talk about the power of 15. There was a study done that basically just shows a student study for five to 15 minutes a day. It behooves you. You will do well. So today I'm asking you, or on Thursday, I'm just asking you to study for five minutes. Then you got another video. Now I'm kind of giving you the backstory. There is a character sheet which you can start to fill out uh, the PDF version or the Microsoft Word version. PDFs you cannot write on, but everybody can download them. So it's got some of the names and basically I just give a little description. So I have to actually tell you in the video some of the names that you can start filling out. So the video basically covers the Trojan War. So Odysseus, he really starts at Ithaca. He go, I know if you had me in my class, we touched on a lot of this, but it's been a while. I don't know who's done what, so I'm reminding you of what happened during the Trojan War. And you start to fill out some of the character sheet. Just a couple names, that's it. So watch the video, fill out the character sheet. Uh, and there are some other little bits and pieces here I talk about the Trojan War, which is basically the start or the very, how he gets into the Odyssey. Because uh, the Odyssey starts as soon as the Trojan War is, is done, basically. And then 10 minutes of reading. Again, while you're reading, maybe you got the menu in front of you. You can fill it out as you go. Friday, 417, 45 minutes total. Two minutes, so I've actually penciled in the time. I don't think it'll take long, but maybe you've, you've waited this whole time. Two minutes to take that Quizlet test and send it to Miss Reeve. Again, I put in her email right here. Again, emails must be sent no, no later than Friday, 1159. Uh, if you need reminders, you scroll back. I, 10 minutes, as mentioned above, power of 15. So study the hero's journey card set again. Then we've got eight minutes here of video, which again, you can click play. And then in the bottom right corner, you can click YouTube and then it goes to YouTube and it gets big. And it's just continuing to talk about the menu and the outline. So I go through a couple other parts of the menu and the outline saying, okay, by now you can probably fill this out. You've been reading for a little bit. You've got, 25 minutes, so I try to give you more on Friday. Combination of SSR and pausing to fill out the parts on the outline as you go. So I'm giving you a lot of time to literally read and fill out the outline. So maybe for some of you that 25 minutes is 25 minutes of all reading. Maybe for others it's maybe 10 minutes of reading and 15 minutes of filling out the outline. However it works for you. Again, I put the Microsoft copy here and then the PDF version there. And that's it. That's the thing. So you've got really one assignment to do to misread. You've got some videos you need to watch. And then I'm giving you time to read and fill out the book talk. A reminder here, the office hours, these are the times. That's when Mrs. Reeve and I will be responding to emails. And then I'm going to post week two. Like I said, it'll be open next Sunday and it'll be very much like this. Ms. Reeve, anything you want to highlight or that was confusing or... Reminders? Um, no, I, I don't feel confused. And I think that um, everyone was, you know, we'll just kind of get into their groove. And um, again, like I said, if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask no matter what it is. 
because we're all, we're all we're all going through the same thing, and we're all, you know, somewhat new to this whole format. So let us know how we can help. And to be honest, um, this book talk, this was going to be your big thing anyway for this yep. term. So it's not something that Mr. Battaglia created just because we are doing distance learning. Um, it was something that he created long ago. So I guess it's kind of neat that your main thing will be an online project. Yeah, we've been talking, I know if you had me for the third nine weeks, I gave SSR time all the time. I was talking about it. You knew this was coming. But even if you're new, you can do a graphic novel if you want. You can, you all have um, access to the DeWitt library via the internet. It's on the DeWitt homepage. If you go to the DeWitt homepage, the library is somewhere on here, DeWitt District Library. You should be able to... Um, get stuff for free you should probably have stuff at home but any book that you like please make it a book that you like you basically read it you fill out the menu in the outline as you go and then once you're done all you got to do is look at that menu outline and type up a script so you're literally turning that outline into sentences that you will read on the video and then you're going to create a video I'm going to give you time to work on the script later once that outline gets completed. I'm going to give you time to create the video and do a PowerPoint and I'll talk all about how to create that video when we're there. Right now, don't look at this as like, oh my gosh, it's so much work to do. I gave you time every single day to actually read and work on it. This is what we're going to be doing. This is the big thing. And like I say, every week there'll be something small like, you know, a Quizlet test. And when I say test, it says that on Quizlet, again, we're just doing all points. So it really doesn't matter uh, what it's listed as, it's just points. So for the most part, that's what you are working on. You're gonna have time to do it. I do not think it is overwhelming. I think it is kind of a perfect thing to do for online learning, to be honest. Um, anything else we needed to cover for school? Um, I, I don't, I can't think of anything right now. I can't either, I mean, Every day is pretty much set up like this. Here's Tuesday's 15 minute, boom, video. 10 minute, study hero's journey. 10 minute, uh, watch the video and work on the flashcards, 10 minute SSR. So that's 45. Each day it breaks it down, 10 minutes of this, five minutes of this, 15 minutes of that. Just kind of follow along. And a lot of it is reading and working on the book talk and watching videos, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, is there any good news to share? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. Any good news to share? Miss Reeve, you got any fun um, things coming up this week? Um, not really, I don't think. I did, I had my birthday. I had a quarantine birthday. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. So, and I was getting birthday wishes for two weeks after my birthday. Nice. So, that was kind of neat. An extended birthday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, no, we were, like I said, I'm, I miss seeing people. So it's, it's nice to see all of your faces. Um, but uh, I'm a people person. So this is hard yeah. for me. The one thing I not be able to do. go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say the one thing I thought of. I saw John Cudney waving to you for your birthday, but then he reminded me. So he has been reading uh, The Walking Dead. If you are doing a book talk, yeah. you can sort of take your choice. If you want to do like I don't know the Percy Jackson series, you can do the series if you want, or you could do all of The Walking Dead, or you could just do one book of the Percy Jackson series, or you could just do one book of The Walking Dead, or vice versa. So it'll be up to you. If you want to, if you've read a series and you're really familiar with it and you want to do the whole thing, great. If you want to just do one book or one graphic novel and part of that, great. That is up to you. Another thing, my books, I am working with Miss Lang, although she's not there regularly. I'm thinking this Wednesday, I'm going to leave a box outside of the main DeWitt entrance. So if you have a book of mine, if you still need it, that's fine. I'm going to kind of pick a different day, maybe each week. 
Uh, I'm going to email it out. But this Wednesday, I'm going to put a box there at 9 in the morning, and it'll be there till you know, 8 at night, 9 at night. So if you've got a book for me, please return it. If you don't need it, there'll be a designated time each week, a designated day, that you can just drive up to do it. When you do, if there is somebody there dropping off a book, wait in your car until there's no one there. Don't take any chances. I don't want you to go high-five anybody, although I think the days of our handshaking might be over. I don't know. I, uh, you have a question, John? Or are you just high-fiving? You have to unmute yourself. Let me unmute you. I was just high-fiving. Oh, just high-fiving. Okay. High-five. I think the days of high-fiving are over. It might now be – or handshaking. I think those days are over. I saw something as a, a Apple story, like, is this the death of handshaking or something? And not only that, I saw – like, I've got all these – tickets to go to concerts in the summer i just saw a you know a mardi gras like the crowd and I, my first thought was ew i sure. think i think different now i never looked at a picture of a concert and said ew now it's like oh my gosh all those people they're so close to each other what are they thinking yeah it's i i was used to um going to meyer as many times a week as i needed and wanted and now it makes me feel really anxious to make a grocery list and decide who's going to go. Yeah. Because um, it doesn't matter even if you do everything, you know, like I, well, the last time I went, I had a mask, I had gloves, and I had a lot of people look at me like I had three heads. And I thought, well, you know what, that's, that's fine. You can look at me strangely, but this is what I feel I need to do. And, and a, a lot of people were not, um, being aware of the personal space and they would, you know, reach right in front of me and, and try to get something and I would be the one to back away, you know, but then we just wash everything and yep. it, it's just, I, I've never, I never imagined not wanting to go to Meyer. I but went recently and I'd say strange. the majority of people had masks and gloves by far. Yeah. So I think that's good. Yeah. But yeah, handshaking might be done. Going to crowds, at least until we get a vaccine. I think our world's going to be very different. Okay. Well, if you've got some good news, you can jump on and say it or type it into the chat if you so should choose. Um, Good news for me, I don't know. I'm hoping my best friend from college, I just talked to him last night. He was supposed to bring his family this summer, and we're going to go boating and do all this stuff in Michigan, and I don't know if that's going to happen, but we're, we're still hoping it might, so I'm going to keep a good thought. Anyone else have anything to share via saying it or typing it? Maddie? Um, today is, uh, when we get callbacks for Beauty and the Beast, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, for the musical. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. You'll that, have to let us know. Yeah, I think we're supposed to say, what, break a leg in the theater, right? Yeah. Well, no, br we say, break a leg. Don't touch yeah. the leg. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's my cat tail. Uh, I see a hand up. I I'm just trying saw to on the chat that it's Mason. Your your audio is breaking up a little bit. I saw on the chat that it's Mason Gearman's birthday today. Oh well, happy birthday! I'm scrolling Hi. scrolling through all these names. I see a couple hands up. Ben, why don't you unmute yourself and share your good news? Well, my good news is that I finally have a coronavirus mask. Oh, very nice. Sick. Cool. Yeah, and even better. Even better, I've been doing YouTube videos a lot. Like, I'm working on a new Super Mario 3D World series on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm uploading part six today. The parts one through five. Yeah, and then, and then I actually heard my one of our neighbors next door had the coronavirus. Really? Yeah. 
we were talking with him the other day and they were recovering from the coronavirus. Wow. I, that's the first, I think, case I've heard of in DeWitt. Yeah. I wow. asked. Okay. Well, it's cool about your video channel. I've been doing a lot of that as well. Um, I see Alex Potter with his hand up. I'm trying to scroll. So if you've got something you want to share, I see a couple of you with your hand up. So I've got Alex, Nax, and Carter is on deck. So Alex, P, what do you got? Oh, I was just saying there's going to be a windstorm. It's not the best thing. Uh, yeah, that's all. It's saying it's telling me your bandwidth is low, but I think I heard a windstorm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We I liked watching the storm the other day, and I don't know about a windstorm though. I like watching lightning storms. Uh, Carter, you had your hand up to unmute yourself. SNL came back um, on Saturday. Oh, who was the guest? <laughs> um tom hanks but he was only there for the beginning and the rest of it was just the cast oh was he in the studio um no they were all at home oh the whole cast was at home yeah how did they do that they all used zoom wow i'll have to watch that that would be interesting yeah i've been watching all like late night talk shows and bill maher is doing it from his house i mean it's kind of Weird. Yeah. yeah, and I've been watching. They did like, Talking Dead yeah. that way too. Really? Uh, any other hands? I'm scrolling through my view where I can see six of you at one time. Uh, Hannah, go ahead. Okay, so it's not necessarily good news, but it's news. Um, right when I got out of school, I got surgery done on my foot. And yesterday I had to go back into the ER because I twisted my ankle. So now I'm on crutches for like a week. Ooh, man. Well, I'm sorry, if, but if anything is good about the coronavirus, you don't have anywhere to go. So it's not like yeah. you got to yeah. <laughs> do your crutches all the way to the second floor and do it high school and stuff. Yeah. Well, That's I'm good. sorry to hear that. I hope you were on the mend. Um, I, anyone else have a hand up that they wanted to share something? I'm scrolling quickly. Um, Smith, so Smith S. Actually, that's a plural of Smith, and I'm Isaac Smith. Isaac Smith. Isaac okay, Smith. Okay, I've got your name down. I played D and D for five hours straight. How'd you do while that? Sitting in that? that. Uh, if you position a camera over the map, you can do entirely D and D. If you call out directions over Zoom, huh? huh. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that. I've been playing poker with some of my high school friends, um, but I would love to keep playing D and D with my D and D group, and we've been stuck. So maybe I'll bring that idea up. That's cool. Are you related to Michaela? No. 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 Oh. She uh, plays D&D and, and has a last name as Smith. Well, that's cool. Well, that's... Any other hands? Hands? Make, make sure if you did not type your name in the chat that you do that before the meeting's done, please. Yeah, well, I'll be able to download the record. Oh, and Mason Gehrman, happy birthday. You said that. Yeah, so just type in here. Just type in your name in here. That's fine. And then every week we'll do something similar. John, you've got your hand up. What's up? Uh, so I've had so much time on my hands that I remodeled my room and painted my sister's room. Wow. And Yeah, just doing work around the house. Was painting your sister's room your idea? Uh, it was my dad's. I just, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Well, remodeling your room's probably pretty fun. Yeah. Cool. Anyone else want to share? While well, we have this rare opportunity to see other human beings besides your family members. Okay, I'm scrolling through. I don't see any other hands. All right. 
Well, Miss Reeve, I think we've completed uh, our first video chat for week one. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. We will be uh, office hours if you wanted to. Is that your cat? Yeah. On top of the computer? He's very social. He's having a hard time with this quarantine, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Well, guys, if you have questions, email us. I think it's pretty self-explanatory on Moodle. Hopefully, this made some sense. Uh, if you are watching a video of this, please email Miss Reeve or myself and say you watched the video so we can add your name to the list. And make sure you email Miss Reeve by 11.59, your score, and start working on your book talks and keep reading. And again, this Wednesday, if you have books to return, please bring them on up to the high school at the main entrance. If you wanted to keep it, that's fine too. Uh, but if you wanted to return it, you may. John, you got a question? You said 11.59 Friday, right? 11.59 p.m. Friday. So anytime before or on Friday, you email that screenshot, you're good. All right, thank you. Yep, take that as many times as you want until you get the score you want, and then send that to Mrs. Reef. Any other hands up? Any other questions? I don't see any other I hands. No, I don't either. Okay, so no other hands. We'll be around uh, email if you need us, 9.30 to 11, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and we will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye, you guys. We miss you. Abby, do you have a hand? Yes. What's up? I was going to say, I'm coming home from Florida from a three-week trip. Oh, wow. I see you're in the car. Yeah, I saw your seatbelt, and I wasn't quite sure what was going on there. She's very yeah, safe on the internet. Yeah, we're driving home from Florida. Wow. So um, the, the, the whole family just got to hear our little session? My mom, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad you guys are safe, and uh, was it a nice three-week stay? Yes. yes. If I you're going to be fun, stuck but... somewhere, that's a pretty good place to be stuck, I guess, right? Yes. Were you swimming in the ocean? Yes. Uh, the guy caught two sharks. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. Where did you yeah. swim with the sharks? No. Good choice. <laughs> well, that's cool. All right. Thanks for sharing. I wish I was swimming in the ocean. I missed the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, any other hands? Yeah, okay, you can always do a reaction to a thumbs up if you have a question, I suppose, that pops up on your screen, but hand works as well. All right, gang, uh, if you have questions, email us during office hours and we will see you next week. Sophia Bye. Darling. So I got some new additions here at the end. Oh, in, in the, for attendance? Yeah. Well, Who's... I was showing, I was showing that we had 42 participants and then I went through the chat real quick and it didn't look like that many names. So that's why I reminded everybody. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can download the chat. Yeah. Reagan, right, CC. See ya. Thank you, Mr. Battaglia. See ya. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hi, Green. Carter. You're welcome. Good to see you guys. Hi, Christian. <laughs> Abby Depp and Cece. Addie? Addie Spagnolo. Oh. I'm thinking I probably pronounced it wrong, but yep. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty,
are we supposed to put anything in there or no? No. Okay. No, we just uh, write it down, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to, I'm hoping, oh, that's an open file. Hmm. So anyway, uh, it'll be interesting to see what this download looks like. Yeah, I, I haven't ever done it, so. I've downloaded the video and I know there's like a summary feature. So I'm hoping mm -hmm. I've got all the names written down. Again, it's just really for us. Yeah. I thought, I saw this file button, but it's an open file, not a download file. Oh, hmm. Now, as long as we're still on, we can see the names, right? But once we leave... Once we leave, I don't know. I know it downloads something called a summary, and I know it downloads the thing called the video, and I've watched the video, but I don't know if I would see the names in the video other than... Yeah, I don't know. I think I've got all the names written. Okay. Because I know we have... Um, I'm just trying to look through the ones that joined later. Yeah, do you want to keep a record? Yeah, I'll have to go through and type or write them down real quick. Here, I'll just send you, I wrote them down if you want to just like check them off a list or something. I okay. suppose, I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to say, I suppose you need a nine-week four list, but I guess it really doesn't matter since well, it's... I, I would have a nine-week four list in Infinite Campus. Yep. So I can look there. Um, yep, because there's a couple new faces. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw some names I didn't recognize. So I am sending you my list. Okay. Good. I would think some of the kids from the fourth block were also here currently because we had 42. Yeah. So even if that minuses the two of us out, that's still more than a class. Right. So I know there was some there, I but I, I did. Matter. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Right. I just had to pick. I mean, I picked. And even my, um, my seniors, because I think they're a third block and they want to do third block at one. And like two of my kids have one o'clock stuff on Tuesdays yeah. and Thursdays. They two yeah. of them do at one. So right. I figured, well, I'll just give them my computer, but how am I going to do? So I just, you know, and I don't want to be spaced out. I just want to get it all done in a, in a small amount of time, you know? Right. So and then I had one of my seniors email me saying, well, I think there's a problem because you and so-and-so Scheduled it on the same time, and I emailed back like, you know, this is about the twentieth email I'm writing, and I've set it all over the place. But there's gonna be conflicts. That's yeah. why every DHS teacher is recording it. So make your pick and watch the record. Yep. But my God, I sent out all those instant messages. I sent out a lot and a video of how to log on, and I still had people contacting me, like, oh, I downloaded the Moodle app and it doesn't work. I'm like, who said anything about the Moodle app? I literally created a video <laughs> where I'm pointing and clicking. When have we ever, and this was a student that's had Moodle all year. Like, right. when have we ever got now, to it that way? Does your screen still show Candela? Because I see Candela on. No, I'm going to 